Alright everyone, hello, it's Lazy, and welcome to another episode of Bethesda Sunday. So I'm only going to be doing one hour today, I'm sorry to say, but I do not have a lot of time. <laughs> uh, I'm, I don't think I'm ever going to change my method of recording. Uh, it's Saturday, <laughs> the day before Bethesda Sunday, and I always do this. <coughs> okay, um... So I think in the last episode I said I was gonna do the like do the strip and whatnot. Actually, I want to go adventuring because the strip is uh, I don't know. To me, it, it seems more late game, and I feel like we just got here. We got here too early. So what I thought I would do is do uh, Cass Cass's mission, which is to help out the Crimson Caravan. So we are gonna head there. And I think uh, last week I also said that I was going to implement, uh, what's it called, I was going to implement the checklist thing. I decided not to do that because of, holy crap, hold on, big boomer, okay. I decided not to do that because I want, <coughs> the hell, I don't care. oh it's right here. Because I, I I don't want I don't want you guys to know what what the whole episode is going to be consisting of. If you get what I'm talking about, like the reason you guys are watching is because you guys love Fallout New Vegas, love Bethesda games, hey. love watching my my videos, and the fact that you don't know what's going to happen. Like so I but I will I make I made a checklist for myself. Oh, this is pretty cool. It's like a, it's like all the signs plastered together. Uh, I made a checklist for myself of what I'm gonna do, but I won't be displaying it for you guys because, yeah. What is this? North Vegas Square? I've never been here. What the hell? What is this? I've never seen this in my life. <coughs> so, yeah. Sorry about the checklist. I don't even know what this is. I don't know. All right. Anyways, let's uh, just let's head to the Crimson Caravan. Uh, there's another guy at the Crimson Crimson Caravan that has a unique weapon. I never, I never. Ow, sorry. Headset. I never got it normally on uh, my Xbox save because I had to kill the guy and then had to fight all of the NCR. It was retarded. But now that I can quick save and do all that shit, <coughs> pickpocketing will be a lot easier. Okay. So yeah. Oh, I want to ask, oh, and I also want to ask you guys another question. Do you guys prefer one-hour videos or two-hour videos? I know some people like one-hour videos because they're obviously a lot shorter than two hours. But some people like two-hour videos because it gives them more content to watch. In my opinion, I like doing I like doing one-hour videos because they're <clears throat> I don't have to set aside a two hour period for me to record. But then on the other hand, I love this game a lot and I wish I could play it a lot more. So two hour videos are more enjoyable. Like there's just like drawbacks to having two hour to one hour. One hour is more convenient for me because I don't have to put aside what the f is this guy limping? Hey there. Here's the rest of the payment I promised you back in Good Springs. What I'm getting ready to run a caravan up towards Utah. There's a town called New Canaan, which is supposed to be pretty prosperous. The Crimson Caravan doesn't have any branches out that way, so it'll be up to me to get things started. <clears throat> who's in? Who's? Who are those? Oh, no. Who's in charge here? Alice McLafferty runs the Crimson Caravan. You can find her over in the main office. It's a two-player game, and the winner takes the whole pie. You build a caravan using the cards in your deck. The goal is to create caravan bids that beat your opponent's bids. So there's more strategy than luck involved. It's why you won't see caravan in any casino. Too slow paced. And more importantly, <coughs> no house edge. Here, take this holotape. It goes into more specifics about the rules. You'll also need a deck, so take one of my spares. Oh, cool. So, you feel like playing a game? Not really. All right. I'll see you around. Oh, Ringo, wasn't that the guy from uh, the gas station who we helped in Good Spring? 
I think. I don't know. Why is he limping? <laughs> I feel bad. But yeah, uh, there's a couple drawbacks for, for doing one hour and two hours. Two hours is... I like doing two hour videos because it's more enjoyable for me. And <clears throat> I feel like what, sometimes one hour isn't enough. Like that, when I did that two hour and a half episode of Fallout New Vegas, it was a perfect amount of time to do what I had to do. Um, but I don't know. I think for now I'll stick with one. Simply because I don't have enough time nowadays to do, to record what I got to record. So. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company, New Vegas branch. What may I do for you? I'm looking for work. I'm afraid we have no current openings for caravan or a runner. Cars, but I am in need of a runner. Actually, I don't have to. Okay, I'll take it. What do I need to do? Pitch in at the Crimson Caravan Company if you're looking for caravan work. Deliver this invoice to Dr. Hildern. You can find him somewhere inside Camp McCarran. Camp McCarran. I love Camp McCarran. It's a nice place. It's been a pleasure. You can depend on me. <clears throat> okay. Oh. You freaking know. I don't even care if this is a uh, <laughs> hospital ward. I'm stealing your freaking goodies. Wow, this, these things actually have water. Holy crap. Nothing in New Vegas ever had water. Wait, are these. Can you guys see me? I think they can see me. I'm, I'm detected. Alright, fuck it. Who is this? Oh, that's her. Oh, this is. This is not. I thought these guys were sick. Instead, that's where they sleep. Okay. Move it, Boone. So let's uh, deliver this message. So I think we met we met Veronica the other, the other day, last week. You can bring her as a. Uh, where did I gotta go? I gotta go to the uh, Camp McCarran. Where is that? Oh, it's down there. Oops. We met Veronica the other day. She is another companion you can have, and Cass, who we're helping right now, is also another companion you can have. Uh, I'm gonna spoil it for you for Cass. I think I think Cass is. I I, I believe it's Cass. I think I'm going the wrong way. Yeah. Uh, Cass's companion quest actually gets her killed. That's if you that's if you do it the way that they want you to do it. Uh. It, I am so lost. Wait, I have to go inside the greenhouse? The fuck? Yeah, for Cass's companion quest, yeah, she gets killed at the end. Because uh, I think someone double crosses her. <coughs> but if you save her life, she becomes your companion. I actually recommend saving her life because the people who kill her are a bunch of dick faces. Fucking hate them. What was the point of- what? Are you serious? I could've just walked across the freaking. oh my god. Okay. This game isn't perfect. <laughs> it's made by Bethesda, it's bound to have bugs. I don't even think this is the right way, I'm supposed to like, not be in this freaking place. Cap McCarran is this whole thing, it's like this whole thing right here. So yeah, I won't be killing Cass because she's cool, and I don't like killing companions. So the Camp McCarran, yeah, this is this is Camp McCarran right here. Lost Vegas. So I think before I do the strip, I'm gonna venture around, try to find some quests. Uh, <coughs> as of right now, we've been like here, here, here. I think what I'm gonna do is go to Good Springs and maybe travel. Maybe I'll I'll travel around the uh, strip for a bit, see if I can find any quests for me to do because I need I want to level up a little bit more. What level am I? I think I'm like level ten. Yeah, level ten. Same level in Oblivion. Been riding asses again. Better lay low. All right, ten side. I don't think it's. I don't think you can go in here unless you're accepted by the NCR. 
I think. Why am I looking down? Yeah, there's a guy here that has a gun. Oh, damn. Why is this red? That one's normal. Okay. I think this is like the. This is kind of like Rivet City in Fallout New Vegas. It's a little town where when you go inside, there's like shops. I think this. I think this might be the one where. Yeah. I think so. This place has a lot of shit. Uh. I forget who has the. Special weapon. I'm gonna try to get it from him. It's one of these. One of these dudes. Is it you? Is it you? No. Ten of spades. Corporal Betsy. Is it you? Some one of you has the special. That first recon guy looking after me. Let's see. It might be this dude. Hello. Oh no, it's Corporal. Is it this dude, Corporal Sterling? <sighs> I want. I want his weapon. <laughs> Yeah, I think he has either a unique cowboy repeater or a hunting rifle. But let's let's hand in this quest. He's like right here. Where is he? Little Buster. Okay. Oh, he's inside. Oh fuck. Eh, well, whatever. We'll do this quest, and I'll try to steal his weapon. Oh. <coughs> I'm not gonna lie, I think this place gets overrun by Legion. What nice to meet you. I'm Curtis. What do you do here? Officially, I'm in charge of Bravo Company. But since General Oliver has Bravo and most of our forces here garrisoned, I'm free to do other things. So I work with Colonel Shu on logistics, patrols, supply lines, reinforcements, <sighs> that sort of thing. Yeah, it's fucking Lately, hot. It's been less about that. And more about figuring out how that information is getting leaked to raiders. It's a big base with a lot of unhappy soldiers. <coughs> they get stir crazy. Hard to separate the malcontents from the actual culprit. I think there's a quest here for that. Le I forget who I forget who you have to talk to. It's someone here. Uh, he has like an office too. There's a bathroom. Is this a bath? Why does a bathroom have a cabinet? That's weird. Is there a no? Usually bathrooms have first aid kits. Ladies, someone had a really bad period. Holy shit. That time of the month, huh? That's horrible. I'm sorry, I apologize. <laughs> sorry to all the ladies out there. <laughs> I know, I know, uh, time of the month aren't fun and all. Believe me, I have a, I have a, I have a mom and sister too. <laughs> okay. Oh, they have slots in there, I think. That's pretty cool. Any any of these computer work? No. Nothing in here. Flame or fuel. Why would I want that? This place is creepy. This place has creepy noises. Oh, we're inside. All right, it's kind of dark. That doesn't even help. Someone here has a quest for me. I know that. I'm, I remember running around this place. Is it you? Might be you. I'm usually good with faces, but I don't think I've seen you here before. What brings you to Camp McCarran? I'm here to pro to provide support. Is there anything I might a might be able to help with? I'm up for hire. If you need some extra manpower on the base, how are things going for NCR? Yeah, let's help these guys out. Hmm. You don't cook by any chance, do you? Farber's doing his best, but it's hard to manage an army with half my staff in line for the latrine. <coughs> Honestly, we're fighting a lot of fires right now. The fiends keep pressing their position from Vault 3. Oh, We've got the Legion breathing down our like necks across the river. <laughs> we actually took an officer alive last week, but so far he hasn't spoken a word. I bet I can make the Legion prisoner talk. I have Lieutenant Boyd on that already, and she's excellent, but I think she's hit a wall. Talk to her if you like. See if she has any use for you. Her office is right above mine, but I think she might be interrogating right now. So she'd be upstairs on the other side of the building. Uh, okay, any other problems? Yeah. On top of everything else, I can't send a patrol on a bathroom break without it being ambushed by someone who heard they were coming. So somebody's getting the word out. This is another quest, I believe. You seem calm given that things are bad as they are. 
Calm is what you have to be when people look to you. And it's all you can be when things are out of your hands. Okay. I could look into leaking NCR intelligence. Hmm. Well, why not? Given your recent arrival, at least I can safely rule you out as the leak. I'd like to have absolute trust in my men, but that's just not practical right now. Go ahead and look into it. See what you find. I okay. don't have much to go on right now. Lately, every raiding party in New Vegas seems to have a map of our troop movements. It derails everything. Supplies, reinforcements. And it'll only get worse the longer we let it go on. Captain Curtis is heading up the investigation right now. He can fill you in. Yeah, okay. Our thing is mostly quiet between here and the dam. I put a spell on you. As in chem fiends. Okay, I don't care about this too much. Oh. Oh, no, we actually... I, I'll go to Vault 3 and see if I can find a ranger. That vault is a hornet's nest. If you have second thoughts, no one would think less of you for it. But if you... Watch for... I think Vault 3 is the vault that's full Five. of, like, vegetation and stuff. There's a vault in this game where everything outside is like all plant life and stuff and then inside the inside the uh... vault is like freaking plants that want to eat your freaking face it's crazy alright so who's the actual doctor I have to find <laughs> for the stupid quest deliver the crimson caravan invoice to dr hildren do I, do I, can I listen to it? This holotape contains a bit. Wait, contains an invoice for various bits of scientific equipment. Okay. Silent treatment. Answers capture Caesar. Or Caesar's Legion alive. Do do do. I think you have to have high speech. For that. Hey. What's up? Oh, you're Doctor Hildern. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Doctor Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault Twenty Two. No, I actually have an anniversary from Alice McLafferty. Actually, I want to see. No, this is the first time I've heard about Vault 22. No, they wouldn't have briefed you, would they? Probably better that our junior fellows stay within the bounds of their pay grade anyway. Vault 22, where to begin? Uh, I'm listening. Imagine, if you will, the wasteland in... Oh, so Vault 22 Vast is the one. Of okay. corn that grow from seeds and <coughs> produce their bounty in the space of a month. Orchards of trees, their branches weighed halfway to the ground, hung with fat, ripe oranges, a harvest that could feed a city or a nation. And all of this, all this, requiring no more than a few drops of precious water, and the efforts of only a handful of human farmers. Impossible? Nothing is impossible. Precisely. Science has proven that truth a thousand times over, but how many wasteland savages believe it? Present company accepted, of course. The bounty I describe to you is no idle fantasy. It exists in primitive form only a few miles from where we stand. We need only reach out and unlock its secret. For that, the OSI needs you. Isn't it? One directs one's efforts, or the efforts of others, toward a goal, and progress is made. It's a matter of incentives, nothing more. I believe that the inhabitants of Vault 22 unlock the secrets of vegetative growth. Plants are spilling from their gate. No one tends them. No one waters them. Yet they multiply and spread in all directions. <coughs> Find the reason for this miraculous growth, and I promise you the OSI will see that you are generously compensated. All right. So we get, we're getting more quests? I like Good. it. No need to check in with the NCR authorities. I can authorize your payment from OSI accounts. You fucking Vaults better. typically contain a server room on a lower level where they would have backed up their research data. A computer room, you understand? Download all the information on the central server to your Pip-Boy, and you'll be certain to bring me any notes or samples that you find, won't you? Anything else I should know? I thought it was a fairly straightforward... Downloading... All right, fuck you. Best of... This guy's a dick. Oh, I have yes, a something else. A note for you. From Alice. I'll see that she's paid right away. Crimson Caravan runs a tight operation. Even out here in the waste, wouldn't do to keep them waiting. Was there anything else? Okay, return to Alice. Let her know that the delivery invoice. Did Doctor Hildern? This really isn't any of my business, but did he give you a job? You have a mustache? Yes, he asked me to 
get some data from Vault 22. I shouldn't say anything. I know that. But you're not the first person Hildren sent out to the vault. Yep. There were a lot of mercs. One after another. None of them came back. Then about a week ago, there was a scientist, Keeley. She's unusual. Not the sort of person you'd expect. But she's an absolute genius. And... And he didn't mention her? Not even her name? Or any of the other mercs? Mm, no. But now he's hired you. Which means one of two things. Either he heard back from Keeley and she failed. No, Keeley's alive, I know he's that. He's given up on her. She's like Listen, trapped. I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich. Not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc. But I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. In right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive <coughs> or dead. All right. I had a good feeling about you. Moment you walked in. I mean it. Right. Good luck. Yeah, no, she's alive. <laughs> Sorry to spoil it. <laughs> she is alive and kicking. Okay, so let's go back to... There's something There's something here. Oh, we talked to the Omertas. Okay. To get the Golden Pit Boy. Uh, I know there's another. There's like a lot of quests in this place. Um, yeah, well, let's head back to McLafferty. He is bright as fuck. So, one thing. I've been playing a one game lately that I literally have not put down. Um, I've been playing the Final Fantasy XIV beta. God, that game is so freaking good. It's it's an MMO, and I usually don't play MMOs, but my lord, is that game addicting! And I was wondering if you guys wanted to see gameplay of it, because I've been playing. I think I put like ten hours into it. <laughs> like it, it's so addicting. I don't even know, man. I never really played MMOs. You know, I don't. I th I just totally remember that I was not. Re Why was I not recording? I must have hit a button. What the fr? I, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look. Cut the cut the recording here and look back to see what I missed. Uh, you have to find someone else for the gunner job. That's not something that needs to be run. Okay. So my co <laughs> for some reason my recording cut out. I don't know what happened, but let me, give me a second. I'll check it out. Okay, guys, welcome back. So it cut off right when I came in here. All, the only thing you missed is I came in here. There was a book on the floor. I stole from the bathroom. Then I talked to this chick and she gave us a quest. Uh, so, we have, so she wants us to acquire the Gunrunner secret manufacturing specifications from their factory. I actually don't know how to, I forgot how to do that. Convince Henry Jameson to quit and negotiate with Cass. Um, so let's start doing some stuff. You know, I will do this quest. I don't know, I think you might have to have high speech. But yeah, I think before it cut out, I was talking about Final Fantasy 17, or 17. Can you imagine? That'll be a couple years away. Uh, why wow, this game is so bright? Hold on, it's blinding. Okay. See, so, yeah, I've been playing Final Fantasy XIV uh, ever since my brother got into the beta. He actually convinced me to play because he's been, he's been playing it for like a week. He's like, man, you need to play this with me. It's so addicting. <laughs> So I got in. I was like, and the first day I I got in the beta. I think, I think I I got the email around like 5 p.m. on a on a Wednesday. I just got home from uh, working out at the gym, and it it took a while to download because it's it's like a 12 gig client or 12 gig 12 gig game. <coughs> and uh, wow, this game looks really good. I think I I think I increased the the. Uh, I think I'm playing on Max now. I decided to just like. Fuck it, <laughs> play on max. Um, so yeah, I got th I got the beta around 6 p.m., 6:30 p.m. I played until like 4 a.m. Like, oh man, I was so like just into it. So if you guys want to see Final Fantasy 14, let me know. I probably won't do live commentary. I'll just do post. But yeah. Anyways, let's talk to Cass and see what we got. I think, as I said, I think you need high speech to talk to her. So let's see. You come around like a bad habit. What's on your mind? Crimson Caravan sent me to sent me. They want to buy out your caravan. They want to buy Cassidy Caravans. Don't they know it's burned to ash? No, 
Even times being what they are. Not sure I'm looking to sell. Even for all the whiskey in Reno. Wait, what happened to her caravan? <sighs> Mojave happened. Hit by raiders packing some heavy firepower. Can't believe the Crimson Caravan haven't heard. So if you want to buy all of Cassidy Caravans, you're looking at it. And what I got in my pockets. Still, as little as that is, not looking to sell. So even if you have nothing, you won't sell. If someone came up to you and offered you a thousand caps for your name, would you take it? Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I don't want to hear your answer anyway. Point is, I made the caravan what it is. It's mine. Alice McLafferty, eh? No, I see the zeros. And I know she's good for them. Still, it's not about the money. Dad, it'd spin like a twister if he ever heard I sold our name for anything. <coughs> Are you sure? Look, I know you came all this way, and that takes some drive, especially. Not these really. Days. All I had to do was Just press tab and right. click Trading on the name and flash travel. Paper. This outpost is the last place you want to be trapped. Yeah, see. That. That's a good point. It's the caravan clearance that's got me stuck here. I'm sure this bar's getting tired of propping me up. Give me that paper. I'll put my name to it. No sense trying to hold the past between your fingers when it's nothing but dirt. All right. There you go. Caravan's yours. Feel kind of... No idea. Maybe head back west? Though the idea of heading back there with my tail between my legs isn't appealing. You got one too many by my count. Yeah, you can have her as a follower. Ah, I think there's a way for her to keep her caravan. Fuck. I don't actually let me look this up. I don't want I don't know. I think I did this on my other playthrough and I didn't really like it, so give me a second. I'll pause the timer. Alright guys, welcome back. So there is only one option is for her to sell her caravan. Uh I think there's I remember doing a quest where you have to find her caravan and see what happened to her stuff I think you have to actually have her as a companion though um, you know I'm actually I might get rid of Boone for a while and bring Cass with me uh, I think what she have? she has a shotgun yeah you know I'll get Boone later I think he'll, he'll probably go he'll, I think he goes back to Novak let me just let me save just in case uh, wow still have that huh I'll save over this. Actually, no. I don't even know what that's for, but I'll save over here. I'll bring Cass with me for now. Because to get Boone's companion quest, it's, it takes a while. I can always get him back later. Uh, how do I... I think I have to talk to him. A face-to-face -face meeting with... Ha how do you feel about Manny Vargas? Was it... Was it your... Uh... Do, 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 straight Fine link. by me. He has a, yeah, I want to take my bumper sword before... <laughs> before you fucking leave. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. yeah, that's what I think. You should head back home. Alright. Guess I'll be around Novak for a while longer until I figure out what I want to do with myself. What's cool is, uh, once you get to the strip and if you get, like, I think if you, I think it's Mr. House. Uh, if you get his penthouse suite, your companions actually live there with you. So you can have them all in one place so instead of having to travel. You come around like a bad house. Travel places, so yeah, I'll bring Cass with me for now. <coughs> Go with you. Why not? I could use someone who knows the road. Stay here, you know exactly what's gonna happen, Dane and Dan. Hmm. The outpost lost its charm about three. Walking the Mojave with you can't be. Whiskey Rose Park. What does that do? I think the only companions I ever like helped me for a long length of time was uh, Veronica and Boone. Veronica, because she's like a brotherhood of steel. She can use armor. Well, not that she can use armor, but she's pretty good. Um, so what's... uh? Well, Cass is a companion. She she and the player gain damage threshold when, when they drink whiskey. Additionally, the player does not suffer intelligence loss from consuming alcohol. Wow. Feels good not to have to drag a Brahmin train across the Mojave. What kind of guns does she have? Let's see what you got. 
She has bottle caps. <laughs> oh, she has a shock. Oh, caravan shotgun. Okay. Let's do it. Hello. Let's go, Cass. I, I really need to find the armor. I should probably give him, like... I don't know how... You, I forget how you get Brotherhood of Steel armor. To be honest. Okay. Let us... I don't think I can acquire the Gunrunner's stuff without having high enough sneak because you, you have to sneak around the factory. So let's do another quest for now. Uh, we could do, let's do all. I put a spell on you. I put a spell on you. And I still need to steal that guy's cowboy repeater. <coughs> so we have cats with us now. Wait, which is uh oh hunting rifles four. I love the scope on this. So cool. Okay. So we had to talk to Captain Curtis. God, there's so I, there's so many quests in this game I don't remember how where to where to find them all. Usually you just like run around and you know, find it but Alright, so let's find Captain Sterling. He has the cowboy repeater. I think. I think it's a cowboy repeater. Where is he? Is that him? That's not him. He's usually he's sleeping. He's still sleeping. Oh, that's bitter root. Where is the where is he? No. Ten of spades. Where the hell is this man? He's just, he's usually like walking around patrolling. Alright, so I'm looking at my radar. Some people over here. No, no one here. Is that him right there? He doesn't have a gun on him. You're ugly. If it's bad news, you can take it up with the colonel. Damn right. I've got three fiends I want dead, and I know. Good. Ah, I remember this quest. Sorry, sorry, I skipped everything. He's he's just annoying. <laughs> yeah, there's a contract he gives you to for bounties, and I think some some of the some of the people you kill have unique weapons. I think one. I think even one of them has a ripper. So, that one and another guy has like a flamethrower. There's another bounty that has. She's like surrounded with dogs. I think it's pretty cool. Where is this? Where is Captain Sterling? Where the fuck are you? There you are. Bastard. Can you... Go somewhere. Go somewhere quiet so I can sneak up on you. Steal your shit. What are you doing? I don't know. He has cool armor. Alright. We're hunting shitheads. <laughs> I like Cass. Already. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. How's he? How's he see me? This is this is retarded. Can I sleep here? <sighs> Hello. Yeah, go to bed. Can I even go to bed on top? Like on top of the bunk bed? I don't think so. I'm I'm just being patient, man. I want I wanna I wanna take his gun. <laughs> <coughs> yes. God, oh. I thought you were gonna go outside. You walked all the way around. Okay. Come on. This guy this guy can detect me pretty good. Alright, here we go. I quick saved. Okay. So let's take his ammo. Oh, I got caught. 
Shut up. Let's take his ammo. Yeah, I got caught again. Let's take his ammo. I got caught. Fuck. What's it gonna take for me to steal his ammo? Damn it. Do I, is, my, is my sneak not high enough? I stole ammo from the other chick. Actually, uh, hmm. I don't know if you need to hire a sneak. This guy always spots me. This guy's a beast. Yeah, my, my sneak mine might not just be high enough. Let me see. Let's see. My sneak is like a 50, yeah. Uh, do, do, do. Run, take it up, yeah. do I have anything to increase my sneak? That is the question. Oh, big bo book of science. Why, why the have I never used you? Shit. I have a stealth boy. I can try that. I thought I had like I thought I had something that increases my sneak. Melee, turbo. Uh well I have stealth boys, so I could use that. No, I guess not. That sucks. <coughs> Wait, what what after what special increases my I think agility increases my sneak, yeah. Do I have anything that has increased my agility? I have this. Let's try this. Put this on for a bit. Alright, so I'm going to try a stealth boy. Alright, let's try it. I doubt, I highly doubt it's going to work. My sneak is a hundred? Holy fuck. I still got caught. I guess I, this guy has to be sleeping then. There's no way. <laughs> Seriously, my sneak is what? 52. Yeah, this guy has to be sleeping. Okay. I'm sorry for his. For what do you want? No. Oh. I'm gonna try and get this guy to sleep. That sounds so fucking dirty. The Legion can count on that. Go to bed. Where's Cass? Oh. Well, this guy's a freaking night owl, huh? Come on, man! I want your I want your cowboy repeater so bad. I never got it in my other playthrough because I could never find him again. You dick, dude! This guy, this guy has been sitting here for hours. Holy crap! This guy's a legend. What is going on? This guy hasn't moved for so long. What is your problem? Howdy, name Star. Got a good memory for faces, landmarks, and such, too. Comes with practice, that's all. Interesting rifle you have there, level action, right? I call her the Long Caribbean. Didn't always have the scope, I added that myself. Been shooting with her so long, couldn't bring myself to talk. The other snipers use bolt action, but Gore bet. As a matter of fact, it's funny that you'd ask. Got myself a habit of looking all around, not just where I'd expect. Around about one in the morning, I spied some lights in the control tower. Now that's the third time I've spied those lights, mind you. And every time I ask about it, they tell me the place was empty. No trouble at all. Might be nothing. Couple frisky y That light is mighty consistent. <coughs> he was there at 1 a.m. Yeah, that's part of the oh. quest. You wanna, you wanna go up to the, where is it? It's like, it's, I think it's in the back of the, it's in the back of the air, airport thing. Alright, so. I'm still waiting for this motherfucker. Are you gonna go to bed? Like. The fuck? Holy crap, this guy. Where'd he, where'd he go? Oh, damn. Where'd he go? Sure could use a drink. Oh, there he is. Yeah, Cass, of course you could use a drink. You. Skank. I kind of want to. I kind of want to get Veronica. Her perk is useless as hell. This guy doesn't sleep, does he? Wow, this guy's a beast. I thought I saw him sleeping here before, right? 
Didn't, are you guys going to bed? Are you guys going to bed now? It's kind of late. She what? What? Hello. What? How did he? Hello. Holy! He just teleported. This guy is God, probably. Is he sleeping? This guy's floating. They're both floating. What is going on? <laughs> okay. The only problem here now is that this fucker can spot me. Can you, like, go away? Hey. Push you outside. I'm pushing you outside. Pushing you outside, boy. Go out. Get. Get. Get out of here. Okay. Wait, who is spawning me? I wish they made it clear who who was spawning you. Is it this guy? Can you get out of here? <laughs> so glitchy. Okay, you can. We won't go quiet. The Legion can count on that. You can get out of here too. Get get out of here. D get ten of spades. Get the fuck out. Which are that's a cool neck wrap though. I want that. Hey. Hello. Who is detecting me? I don't know. Wait an hour. This guy is fr oh my lord, that is so so ghetto. <sighs> I'm about to give up, man. I'm about to give up. Oh fuck it. I don't even care anymore. I'll try this. I'll try this when I have a higher sneak. I've been wasting too much damn time. Alright, so we have to head back to Captain Curtis. We could do the uh the thing. We should actually uh, we uh, we, uh, we, uh, we can go to the control tower. Do what we gotta do. I think it's in the back of the this whole thing. Wow, it's dark. Alright. <clears throat> you guys need to install some lighting. What is it? Uh, Colonel Shu had wanted me to look into the most recent Smart intelligence. Man. Yeah, I could use somebody who can operate under the radar around here. Whoever our mole is, he's been slippery. Whenever one of the MPs gets too close, he changes his habits. Our last leave went cold weeks ago. Where should I start? You want my advice? Start by talking to people with a lot of eyes in the field. People like Lieutenant Boyd or Sergeant Contreras, maybe. Careful with Contreras, though. He's not above suspicion himself. Keep me apprised of any lead you get. This guy's gotten a lot of my men killed. I'm just itching to return the favor. Uh, what should I be talking to about the intelligence leaks? Well, or who? I'll leave that to you. But I. Okay. All right. Actually, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go get Veronica real quick. Sorry, Cass. I know we you didn't see any battle time, but your perk is completely useless. I think all, the other reason I took Cass is because she has a fist, a power fist. Uh, where is she? Totally forgot where she was. She's somewhere here. Yeah, one eight eight one eight eight trading post. Uh, I think Veronica uses a power fist and she stuns enemies. It's pretty cool. Well, now that I'm f I'd like to pay my respects to the end of Cassidy Caravans. Or was a caravan hit? <sighs> Upside of Vegas, hear tell? Trapped at the Mojave outpost. So I wasn't able to run there when I heard. Been weeks since it was hit. How did you catch word of it? <sighs> Only wishful thinking on my part, most... I got the... Thanks. Some of the caravan might be ash, but we were expecting raid. If I'm there with you, shouldn't be hard to spot. Alright, I was gonna boot your ass, but let's do this. <sighs> Pay your respects. <clears throat> God, I hope I don't. F I hope you don't fight Cassidy's right now. I don't think I can handle it. 
Seriously. Fucking Cazadors, man. They're so annoying. Wait, I have a... Yeah, I do. 10mm machine gun, bitch. I think this has a uh, increased... Ex I think this has an extended drum. No, it doesn't. Never mind. Post 30 bullets. There it is. No Cazadors, please. I swear to God. This is so annoying. God, there's almost nothing left. Looks like whoever it was was just in the mood for killing. Most of the cargo's ash, too. Not burn, looks like disintegrated. When I heard the reports, I assumed ash meant burned. So close to the Vegas wall, too. Don't that beat all. Must have happened during the day, though. They hadn't made a camp. Why would they have done it during the day? No idea. Maybe catch the sun in their eyes? Maybe they wanted the caravan to come to them. Walk into an ambush. We should check the wagon. They may not have got everything. Whatever we find, it's your. Okay. Damn, this place has been ransacked. That ammo? You know what? What happened in my caravan? Not the first time I've heard about an attack like that. One of our caravans got hit a few months back. I wonder if he made the same mistake. Wanna check it out? Yeah. It's a ways, though. Hell of a detour. You sure? If we have time, sure. Alright, then. Alright. That's one clue. These guys are using energy weapons. And if you remember what I said on my last video, there's a shop in the, the Vegas Strip that uses energy weapons. Huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Holy shit, that is far ways out. Good lord. Uh, well, fuck it. Let's do it. I ain't got nothing else to do. I was gonna get Veronica and fucking book it, but... Okay, we got uh, Cass's companion quest to do. We haven't killed anyone this whole freaking episode. We've just been running around talking to people. That is Fallen New Vegas for you. So this game is a lot more story. This game is a lot more story driven than than Fallout Fallout Three, which I like. I mean, this game has this game's this game side quests have really good, really really good stories. Really? Really? Who the fuck puts landmines here? Why is it always landmines? God. And those were like the only two, right? Fuck you guys. Why is there even landmines? Oh gosh, she's limping. Mm. There you go, she's fine. If you ever wonder, uh, wow, that's a glitch. Staying low. Um, your companions he fully heal after every battle. So, yeah. Fucking landmines. I don't even think I got hurt. Like two. I think my damage, my damage threshold. Oh, cause I'm wearing this thing. Oops. My damage threshold's pretty high. So I don't take too much damage. I don't even know why I didn't take too much damage. Usually landmines like blow you the fuck up. It hurt it hurt Cass a lot, but whatever. Okay. Yeah, we have not killed anything in so long. I'm kinda worried. Is this a Monte Carlo Suites? What the hell? What is this place? Holy crap, there's a dead guy. I'm putting my headset fully on for this part. Okay. <laughs> what is this? Strips? Strip letter 7.
Those gangsters at the top cheated me, I know it. They're cheats and liars and thieves, their games are rigged. I lost every last cap, every NCR bill I had left. Those slot machines, you can never win. They're programmed to make it lose, 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 and whatever. Yeah, in order for you to win in the strip, you have to have high luck. This is a place? Like an actual location? It's very quiet. Almost too quiet. Like really quiet. Is there an enemy here? Monte Carlo Suites. I wonder if we can go in here. Yep, I guess again. I think there's a rescue mission in here. <clears throat> like there's someone someone got sold as a slaver and they're holed up in there. I don't I think you have to get the request from the from the New Vegas strip. So Oh, that's a freaking grill. I thought that was an enemy. What is this place? I've never been here. I don't know. We don't even have to be here, so let us go this way. Where is everyone at? How far are we? Pretty far still. <laughs> Jesus. Who are you guys? Westside Militia. Howdy. Howdy. What? I don't even know. Like, you guys are barricading yourself in these apartment buildings? Smart, I guess. Alright. Okay. Is there an auto run? Here yeah, it is. I'm gonna sit back and relax. <laughs> Just auto run forward and stretch. Uh, okay. There's another power plant. I want to start. I want. I want to start looking for uh, unique weapons, but we haven't really gotten close to any of the areas. I mean, we could go to the vault. But, I don't know. I feel like level 10 is still not strong enough. I think around level 15. Oh my god, is that a Cassador? Oh, sweet Jesus. If you don't know, Cassador's weakness are wings. If you shoot their wings, they can't fly. And therefore, they're not as annoying. More energy weapons hit this caravan. Place has been picked clean. This is Brotherhood level murder here. But they don't do things like that. This was done with a purpose. Let's poke around a bit, see what we can find. Might be something in the wreckage. Okay. Uh, there's energy weapon there. These are dead bodies. Like bottle caps. What's that? Looks like a map got the route along the west of Vegas and they've marked another spot over here along this stretch that's fucked up middle of nowhere want to check it out yeah something's wrong I can feel it it's not any closer than the first all right then plasma rifle Fucking Casador, swear to God. I will fuck you up. Oh, I don't even need to repair it. I got a mod for this. Oh, okay, never mind. So, where's this next one? Holy God. 
Ah, this real close. Go here. Okay. How much time do we have left? I've been recording for a while, it feels like. Eight minutes. Shit. I wanna keep playing. Okay. I don't know why it says go inside. I think it's trying to like make it so we go out the other way. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, so high energy weapons. I wonder who uses energy weapons. I know the Brotherhood of Steel uses it, but it's not the Brotherhood of Steel. And as I said, there's a store <laughs> in the Vegas Strip that uses energy weapons. Who could it be? I don't remember his quest at all. I do know Cass dies if you don't help her. And I will help her. Because fuck that. Also, I think I don't. I'll, I'll spoil it, but uh, the people you find have when they're they're actually part of the store. Wait, we have to go in here. The fuck. Uh, once you kill everyone, you can steal their all their supplies and shit, which is awesome because they have a lot of supplies. All right, we're going in. I'm use. I haven't used Big Boom right at all. Let's try this bad boy. Keeping. Shut up. This is a nice looking house. Ooh. Fuck your TV. I honestly think we just went in here because it's told me to. Yep, see? Had nothing to do- oh my god. They need to f why would they even do that? They need to fix this frickin... <laughs> this frickin thing, it's annoying. Oh god, don't t oh. I was about to say, I thought this was like Deathclaw territory. What the hell's down here? Another caravan. It's been picked clean. Oh damn. Another caravan burned. Except someone made camp here. And I never heard about this attack. Let's look around. Something stinks. Van Graff. I'm gonna give that combat combat armor to her. Actually, I'll, I'll give it to, um, Veronica. Wow, they actually did make camp here. The reaction. Leather. This has, does that have better damage threshold than the medium? How does that make sense? Unless that's 25. Fifteen. I'll give her. I'll give her the fifteen. Let's deal. Do, do, do you can have the leather armor? There you go. So you have some protection. I'll, I'll guess I'll get another one for Boone. That does it. That's all I need to know. Crimson Caravan and the Van Graffs. They were behind burning these caravans, and they've got to answer for them. I'm gonna get some extra ammo, a few bottles of whiskey, and then show them how Cassidy's settle accounts. There's another way we can get evidence. Let NCR take them down. NCR? Are you out of your fucking mind? That'd take years. The harm to the Vanguards would last longer and travel back west. If I can get the evidence, will you consider it? Hmm. I don't want to kill the Vanguards because they have a lot. They have. They have good stuff, but if you kill them, you get all their shit. But they're real they are really hard to take down. Like you want to be high level, cause they they pack a mean punch. Hmm. I'm gonna look this up again. <laughs> Give me a second. God damn it. Okay, so there's two solutions to doing this quest. You can either kill everyone, and if you do kill everyone, you miss out on a quest. But the quest that you miss out on involves Cass being killed at the end. 
Uh, but if you do the peaceful solution, it's a lot better because you don't. You can still go to the Van Graaff store and buy weapons for them and whatever. And you don't have to kill Alice McLafferty and the Van Graffs. So uh, I think my other on my first playthrough on Xbox, I actually killed the Van Graffs, and I lost I lost access to their store, which I regretted because I started using energy energy weapons at the end. Also, in order for me to complete this quest, you have to have 75 lockpick, 75 lockpick or 75 science, which I do have, which I do not have of either. So I guess I'll, I guess we'll return to this quest later on, but uh. I'm going to do the peaceful solution because I want the Van Graffs. I, I, I want to have their store open to me. Uh, All right. If you poke around the Van Graffs and Alice, fine. But if I see either one go into their camp, I'm going to start shooting, no matter what you find. Gift for my dad, along with my name. Rose of Sharon Cassidy. Mom said he got the name out of some old world. Okay. So my timer's gonna go off in ten minutes. I actually I don't want it. I I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna do another hour. I think. Fuck it. Let's do another hour. Actually, I'll do uh, I'll do half hour. I re I really just I can't put this game down. It's too good. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna drop Cass off for now. I hope he doesn't fuck up the quest. <coughs> So I'm gonna get Veronica. Give her the give her the uh, armor. You find any ev? What? I'll get out of your hair then. Okay, she she went back to the Mojave outpost. So let us get Veronica. Veronica's mission is actually pretty. It's so interesting to me. Veronica's mission. I think her mission is to destroy the whole Brotherhood compound which is freaking crazy but yeah let's talk to her couldn't get enough of talking to me the first time huh you sly devil good I hoped you come around shall we let's go now you're talking one thing you should know first though I ask you about the Brotherhood because I'm one of them I know I know but I had to know how you react when I told you we have made a lot of enemies. You still okay bringing me along? No! Actually, I'm more comfortable now that you've had some training. I'm great at punching people. I'm not gonna lie. It's a gift. Well, thanks for taking a chance on a naive young girl from California with stars in her eyes and a pneumatic gauntlet on her hand. Let's hit the road, huh? Okay, so let's, let me give her... You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? She has doctor bags, well. She's a melee character. I might give her the bumper sword. <laughs> okay, let's give her that. Wow, that looks pretty cool. Wow, look at her power fist. Wow, it actually shows steam coming out. I never showed that on Xbox. That's cool. Holy crap. So yeah, she's a melee character. So she has a power fist. I, don't, I think you have to, in order for her to use range, you have to give her a gun. Um... Yeah, I wonder if I can give her another melee weapon. Probably can. I might give her the bumper sword. It's pretty. It's kind of strong. Nah, she can keep her. She can keep the power fist. Okay, so let's see what other quests we can do. I'm way too low level to do any of these quests. We could do this one. I don't think that requires a lot. We could do this one too. Let's see. All right, so let's see. All of these are. This is. These are all DLC. So for this one, that's for the Caesar's Legion. The only, the only reason I'm not doing this one yet because I think if you get on the the Legion's bad side, they actually send people after you. I don't feel like dealing with that shit right now. Ring a ding ding. Okay. So let's yeah, let's do this. We haven't killed. We haven't killed a lot of people. I don't think we did. We, we did we kill anyone? I don't even know. Okay, I, I'm 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 kind of confused why my game is so freaking like gamma. The gamma so so high. I think it has something to do with my Nvidia control panel. Um. Uh. 
Because this is not helping. Like, at all. This doesn't help. Yeah, I guess, I guess it does kind of help. I think it has... I think it's... It might just be my, my monitor. Oh, let me just... Let me see. Let me see. Because I have, I have the contrast for, like, really... Shit. No. Come on. Brightness. No, contrast is not even that high. It's actually pretty low. Hmm. Maybe my brightness on my... No, it doesn't work. I don't even know. I don't know. It's fine. I mean, it doesn't affect my recording, but when I'm playing, it's like... Certain... Oh, I know. I think it might be Bloom. Might be the lighting effect. Yeah. I totally forgot in the settings. Shit. I can't do it from here, because on PC, you have to control... Yeah. On PC, when you start the game, it has like a, conf a config... Because if you don't know, HDR lighting makes everything brighter than it should be. I like to have that off because it's freaking annoying and makes me blind. Okay, so what do we have to do here? Ask around about suspicious activity. I think we have to go to the guard tower. Uh, I don't know if it updates. Like, do I have to talk to Captain Sterling again? Let me guess. Well, you're too late. I just quit. No, fuck you. Uh, where's Captain Sterling? There he is. Patrolling. Howdy. What brings you back? Oh. The Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. 